Hello and welcome to another filter grid tutorial. My name is Layton and today I'm going to be showing you how to speed ramp in Adobe Premiere Pro. Speed ramping is a way of applying a slow motion effect to your footage in a more smooth and gradual way. This technique makes the footage look a lot more polished and professional as the viewer isn't caught off guard with a sudden change of speed. Today I'll be showing you two different techniques on how to speed ramp with this POV footage. This video clip is shot at 120 frames per second meaning that there is a lot of opportunity for slow mo. Let me first just show you what it looks like without speed ramping and just going from 0 to 25% speed. And here is the footage at regular speed. So what we're going to do is gradually build up to a slow-mo as the action occurs. So working with this clip here, I'm going to find a point where I want the slow-mo to start. So right before the board connects with the ledge here, I'm gonna cut it right there. Now for this first technique, I'm going to split up this video into small sections and then individually retime those. That way the footage leads up to the slow-mo effect. So I'm gonna find my end point where I want the slow-mo effect to stop. So right there is good. So I like to have two increments that build up to the final slow-mo. So I'm going to hold down the shift and I'm gonna hit the arrow key to the left and that's gonna jump five frames to the left. And I'm on a 30 frames per second timeline so I'm not necessarily actually jumping five frames in this video footage. And I'm gonna do it one more time. Again, five frames, cut right there. So I'm gonna move this clip out of the way because I'm gonna be extending this clip here. Make sure it's highlighted. I'm gonna right click and go down to speed and duration. I'm going to change this to 25% speed. That's going to really slow it down. Bring my clip all the way out here, as you can see. I can do this because the footage is at 120 frames per second. If you shot at maybe 60 frames per second, you might want to keep it at 50%. That way the footage is a little bit more smooth. So I'm going to move my clip over now so I can start working with these two increments. Going to highlight this one next. I'm going to change this speed to 50%. That way we are gradually slowing down the footage until it gets to that 25% speed. So I'm going to move that one over, make some room for this clip and I'm gonna retime this one at 75% speed. So as you can see, I'm going 75, 50, and then 25% speed. That way it's more gradual and a little bit easier on the eyes. So let's play this out. That looks pretty good. Now, if you'd like to speed ramp on the way out, you simply just follow the same steps that we did before using shift and going five frames to the right again again so we'll highlight these two clips to move them out of the way that way we can adjust this clip freely speed duration we're going 50 with this one we are still slowing these clips down but just in the reverse order that we had them going initially so this one will be 75 percent speed then we can bring this footage back in and we have a nice gradual speed ramp slowing down and then speeding back up and we'll compare it again to the non-speed ramp version so it looks cool, but it's very choppy and just not very pleasing on the eyes. So the second technique I'm going to show you is the time remapping technique. So this is going to be using the effect controls in the time remapping section here. So we're going to do the same thing where we're going to find the point of where we want the slow mode to start. So again, we're going to go right here-ish. So instead of cutting the clip, I'm actually going to go over here to the left side. Make sure you have this speed remapping section open and open the speed. I'm going to drop a keyframe right here. If you're not familiar with keyframes, keyframes basically tell your footage that you want it to look a certain way at a certain point of time in the video. So I'm not going to make any adjustments quite yet. I'm going to find my out point first. So right here seems to be okay. And there we go. Drop the keyframe. Now with this technique, it's a little bit easier because you have this line that you can easily click and drag. This line represents the normal speed of the video. However, if I bring it down, it's going to extend the clip and just this section is going to be brought down. So I'm looking at this velocity to the left and I'm going to keep it at 30 frames per second here and that's going to automatically retime the video clip. However, this is going to look the exact same as the regular slow-mo clip without any speed ramping. It's still going to feel choppy. So how we make this a little bit more smooth and a little bit more gradual is by grabbing the edges of this marker or keyframe. I'm going to drag it to the right. And in doing that, we've split this keyframe in two and now there's a gap and you can see this line gradually decreasing rather than this harsh drop. This represents the speed, so we're going from regular speed, slowing down and easing into 30 frames per second. And we can do the same thing with the ending marker by dragging it out to the right. So now you can see we have this nice slope downwards into our slow-mo and it slopes back up into our regular speed. So let's play this out and see what it looks like. 
So the effect is definitely a little bit more subtle, but that is a point you don't want your viewers to notice the drastic change in time. The idea of speed ramping is to keep a nice smooth transition between a slow-mo effect and regular speed. So there you go, those are two simple techniques on how to speed ramp in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now if you'd like to add even more visual interest to your video footage, check out filtergrade.com where you can download high quality video LUTs and presets for your footage. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.